Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 10S and today I'll show you how to set up your device. So anyway, once you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here, MIUI 12.5. So let's tap on an arrow and select our desired language, which by default right here it's Polish, so I'm gonna change it to English. There we go. Now let's go to the next page, which gives us selecting our region. Now I'm gonna stick with the one that I selected. And then we have terms and conditions. So obviously you can tap on these to read exactly what you're agreeing to. And then from there, select the box right here and you can proceed further, which will bring you to a SIM card. So in here, the phone will start looking for a SIM card. If it finds none, I can basically insert it right now. You can do that later on as well. Uh, literally nothing will change uh, if you insert it now or later. The reason why it is here is for network purposes. So if you want to connect your Google account, you can insert a SIM card and go to your mobile network instead of, for instance, Wi-Fi, because you might not have access to your Wi-Fi right now. And I'm not going to be connect connecting to any network, so I'm just going to kind of skip over this and skip this as well, uh, which will uh, remove the option for me to log into Google account throughout the setup. This still can be done later on after the setup is complete though. And additionally, a date and time will not be set automatically, uh, so I'll probably need to fix it up. Now, next page is the Google services who have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can read uh, further what these do exactly by tapping on an arrow to expand it. And from there you can also disable those if you don't like it. Now this will bring me to the uh, screen lock right here. So we have a couple different ways of protecting your device. One will be through a fingerprint and the other, other one would be through a screen lock. Now, if you're planning to use a fingerprint, you are still required to set up a screen lock anyway. That is so if something happens to your finger, uh, I don't know, maybe you cut it, uh, you would lose access to your phone. So screen lock will save you in this case. And now I'll only be using a screen lock. So that's what I'm gonna choose right here. And it gives you three different options of a pin pattern or password. You can choose whichever one you want. And then it gives us a four, five second message that uh, remember your password because it's not the most obvious thing that password is supposed to be secure and you're supposed to remember them. But anyway, let's uh, draw our pattern. Then redraw it once more. And once you press on the arrow, this will confirm it. Now in here we have some additional settings. So we have location, sending diagnostic data automatically, automatic system updates, personalized ads, and user experience programs. Now majority of those are just uh, some of them are repeating like uh, location, uh, allow apps to access your location. They shouldn't have access to this because we disabled location, at least I think I did. In a previous step, uh, no matter if you disable or enable, this stays on, which I also wouldn't be surprised if it turns on location again when you leave this on. Uh, sending diagnostic data automatically uh, shouldn't really send anything considering we have at least I did disable the, um, this feature overly uh, in the previous step from Google. And then we have automatic system update that is completely up to you if you want to have your phone update overnight or not. Uh, and the worst offender right here is the personalized ads. And just before I go into it deeper, I'll touch upon the last one. So user experience programs. Uh, so just some kind of uh, improvements, which yeah, if you want those, uh, I can sign up for them. If you don't, uh, then disable this. Now additionally, you have the details to read exactly what these are. But now going to the personalized ads, I'm gonna just show you quickly this. You can disable literally everything right here and nothing pops up as you can see. But hey, try to disable personalized ads, the thing that they basically spy on you with. Uh, and in terms of what you search for, uh, basically your phone then gives you ads based on this. No, 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 this gives us a pop-up. And uh, also reverse psychology right here. Turn on is in blue. So by tapping this uh, confirm button, you're keeping it on because, you know, uh, we needed to flip it over just to screw with your mind so you don't actually turn it off. So what this is, just to uh, go deeper into it, whenever you search something on web browser or anywhere, um, possibly also talk about it, uh, your phone will start giving you ads based on your uh, quotation mark interests. Just because you search for something is not an interest and ads based on what you're searching for is just creepy. So I despise this option and I basically always turn it off. And as you've seen, uh, this is the only option that gives you a pop-up trying to stop you from doing this. So 
anyway, once we go to the next, uh, next page, we have the uh, default launcher. So these just differ in terms of if you have a uh, Apple apps on your home screen or if you have an app drawer. I do prefer an app drawer, so that's what I'm gonna select. And that finishes up the setup. So let's give it a moment. It should load the apps and then present us with the home screen, at which point the setup will be fully complete. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.